the bike. It all started with a dream. Uh, actually, it did. Uh, I saw this bike. Jan was riding it in Oceanside many years ago. And I believe uh, that's when I fell in love. And uh, this is a bike that I wanted to ride ever since. And so, uh, well, a couple years passed by and the <clears throat> dream never went away. And just keeps building and building and building until finally we had to make it come true. So here it is. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's got everything. It checks all the boxes that I've, that I've, that I've had. Integrated hydration, integrated cabling, integrated flat kit, uh, beautiful, beautiful engineering, uh, nice uh, rear, rear bottle cage holder, pretty much everything that I had been looking to do to my bike, it's done, and it's done it really quite beautifully. And so, yeah, it was cool to see it all come together. And for, I mean, Canyon doesn't really have any. Uh, reason to need someone to ride the bike they have all the best guys already riding the bike so so it was it was quite nice for them to embrace me and to uh, bring me onto the team because they, they really didn't need to do that so I'm very grateful for that and I'm excited to hopefully add a few more good results to the already great and long list of results they have uh, yeah they both reached out and said congrats on picking the best bike on the market so uh, I think that's a pretty good sign when, when the guys who are winning the races that you want to be winning are telling you that and telling it, you know, kind of off the record. So um, I think I'm pretty confident with the decision. Yeah, the biggest thing is the stiffness, without a doubt. Uh, I feel like my power is going straight down into the, to the pedals and, you know, torquing on the bars and everything. There's, there's very little flexion in, in the frame and, uh, and so that for me is very important. And, it was a very noticeable uh, feeling. I haven't had too much time to ride it because I, I still do do most of my riding uh, on the trainer, but uh, even on the trainer, my power feels, feels like it's going straight into those pedals really, really well. And um, I mean, most excited to, to get out in uh, Palm Springs 70.3 and uh, try all these integrated contraptions out. At the very least, it's reducing the power required to bridge those gaps and and hopefully if you can bridge that gap and you're in good run form then then maybe you can start to make decisions <clears throat> about how you bike the remainder of the bike once you bridge the gap but uh, but as of right now I mean I need to take everything I can get so I need to I need to my strength certainly is the bike and so I need to take all the time I can get on the bike and and if I can reach the front of the race then I also need to keep trucking away off the front. Yeah, yesterday I did uh, King of the Mountain attempt at, it's called uh, Whitewater Canyon here in Palm Springs. And I did my first attempt. So, uh, the King of the Mountain was 15 minutes and 39 seconds. Had a full race set up on, probably first person to uh, attempt it with a disc wheel on, but uh, it's all I had. Anyways, King of the Mountains, 1539. Did my first attempt at 370 watts and uh, went 1410. But the conditions were really good and I thought, you know what, I think I'm gonna take one more rip at it, see if I can bring it down even more. And uh, so then I did my second attempt, 405 watts and went 1339, so I took it down by two minutes. And then anyways, put the bike in the car, drive away and then realized that I had my bike computer on indoor training mode and the GPS wasn't on. So the world will never know of these King of the Mountain attempts, but, uh, but I will know. Yeah, 2019 is the year of, uh, you know, asking for help and becoming the best athlete that I can become. And uh, it takes a team to do that, you know, taking all the speed that I can get. And so, as you can see, it's completely integrated. There's, there's there's very, there's, there's nothing really floating around in the air. It's as streamlined as you're going to get. It's as aerodynamic as you're going to get. And so that's one piece of the puzzle. I can put the check mark next to that. Uh, and then the next 
big piece of the puzzle obviously is the position and so we've already started that endeavor as well with with Ivan O'Gorman and then as well we're going to go on to the track with Canyon here and not not too long from now and get a baseline for my position in, in the in my equipment and and then try and improve upon that over the year so these are all things that I've not really done and taken that seriously I you know I had good power but uh, I sort of relied on the good power I think for a little too long now and now I also have to put good power into good equipment into good position into good mechanics and so that that's really what 2019 is all about is putting it all together I think I've had bits and pieces here and there throughout the years uh, but you know we're out of time now the sports really progressed and you know, you look at the best guys, Jan and Patrick, they both have big teams around them, they both have great teams around them. Both have great teams around them who are thinking about all these things. Bike's broken now, unfortunately, so I'll have to get a new one. But, um, so it's time for me to, to get a team around me, a, a good team who's going to keep me uh, on the right path and hopefully reach my max potential that's that's really what i'm doing this for i'm looking forward to getting out on the open road in a race where i feel safe not like i'm gonna get hit by a car or something and smashing uh big watts and going forward quickly i didn't want to say it you said it ripping off legs as well